The following message is very important. It is a matter of life and death. Not to listen would be fatal. There's a theory going around that Christianity is the same as all other religions. This is false. Take Lynn, for example. Lynn was an atheist when she entered college. However, her roommates convinced her that everything in the world reveals that there must be a god. She went to seek more. She found herself among Muslims. They taught that Allah is God and Muhammad is his greatest prophet. That the Quran is superior to the law, Psalms, and Jesus. And that the way to salvation is reciting, there is no God but Allah and Muhammad is his prophet. Several times a day. Pray five times a day, fast one month of the year, and go on a pilgrimage to Mecca. Lynn, however, was skeptical and did her own research. She discovered the supposed great prophet Muhammad was also a polygamist, he had more than four wives, and plundered caravans that were making their pilgrimages to and from Mecca. She moved on. Next, Lynn turned to Hinduism. She learned that it involved meditation and yoga, which she liked. But wasn't that great at However, then she discovered the whole point was to realize that she was God, and that didn't make any sense at all. She also learned that she was no superior being, and she didn't buy into the whole reincarnation bit. There was no way she was from, or was going to turn into, a bug or a tree. So, she moved on. A friend introduced her to Mormonism, otherwise known as the Church of the Latter-day Saints. At first, she thought it was similar to the Christian church, what she heard her cousin, May, talk about before, but it really wasn't very similar at all. It was kind of like a child's sci-fi story. It said that when you died, you became the god of your own solar system and had spirit children to inhabit your planet. She thought it was way too weird, so she moved on. Lynn gave up and decided to talk to her cousin May about it. May was excited to answer all of Lynn's questions. Lynn learned that Christianity was all about Jesus Christ, who died for the sins of the world and rose again so that we can all be forgiven and can go to heaven if we just believe. But she didn't believe it that easily. She still had some questions that needed answering. Hi, May. Hi, Lynn. So... How come people who don't believe in Jesus are condemned if God loves everyone? Well, God desires all to be saved. To start off with, everyone is condemned to hell because of their sins. But because Jesus died and rose again, he has taken away all sin for us. If we just believe in him, we are saved. So, it's really that easy? Well, yeah, that's it. By grace you have been saved, through faith. And this is not from yourselves, it is a gift of God. Not by works, so that no one can boast. But aren't Christians still supposed to do good works? Yeah, they are. But those works aren't what saves you. Wow. With all of the other religions I tried, um, you yourself had to do something to be saved. Like good works or even meditation. Well, that's what makes Christianity so unique. It's not what you do that saves you. It's your belief that Jesus saved for you.